my first work with Captain America was a pleasure because I it was a patriotic and very turbulent time. I'm thoroughly American. That's the way I always thought of myself. And Captain America was somehow the perfect expression of my own patriotism. And I enjoyed doing Captain America every minute of it. So, uh, all my stories and episodes uh, had a certain enthusiasm, which helped sell the magazine. And of course, essentially, that was my job. My job, like any other artist, is to sell the magazine. It's business, and I knew that. So. I was glad that my own enthusiasm helped produce uh, the kind of material that was good for the We're next to the Brandy's kid in the face of the earth. But he's not playing video games or singing to the soundtrack of Wayne's world. He's playing with well, shows all the sound effects. Well, I appreciate it very, very highly. And I think it's uh, like just great of the, uh, you know, deal to give me that kind of an endorsement. He had a psychotic story who sat in the back of his plane grumbly yes. looking at the exit door. Yes. Well, it's because I could see the entire picture in my own mind. And it was very, very real. To me, I know everything that was going on, and if I drew a crowd of people, they had to be there, because that was part of my life. Uh, because uh, I came from an overcrowded section of the, of the Lower East Side, and all my life was filled with people in the streets by the thousands. And that has to become part of your own psyche. I think it reflects my own respect for that particular meeting. I've always respected comics highly. Why do you love comic books so much? Well, why do people love dancing? Why do people love performing any other way? Why do people become proficient in business? because they like that sort of thing. I don't think people ever do anything that they don't like. I've never met a man who didn't like what he does, actually. And uh, although, you know, uh, they may not at the beginning uh, want to, you know, be a minor executive, however, they stick to their job, they do something creative, and they get promoted. They get promoted. And that's in essence what happened to me. I, I like doing comics, and I got promoted. When do you know you're a legend? When you get to be my age. <laughs> Oh, sir. It is. It is. Right. She's marvelous.
what's it like being married to a comic book legend? Are you a legend? Are you? No, I'm not the legend. They're always saying, are you? They're, no. they're always saying to me, are you Roz, the famous Roz? I said, I'm Roz. I don't know how famous I am. She is. But I've enjoyed it. We've had, we've had yeah. fun. We've had fun all those years. We're married 51 years. And it's been uh, entertaining. What's this guy really like? Hard Just the way you see him. Very absent-minded. He'll remember things 50 years ago, but he'll forget what happened yesterday. Hi, he loves to tell war stories. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, I when once, I, that's when I walk out of the room. <laughs> I once threw a bomber, and I call it the Rosalind K. Right on the knee. Right on uh, DC. But it was a big fat plane. I said, I said you could have made me do a nice sleek. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of Boeing type of plane. Uh, like a B-47. But it's been fun because he always worked at home. He was a great babysitter. Thank you. What's your favorite character? Do you like Frank? I like Frank. Frank? Oh, I like it. Thank you very much. I like Frank. Oh, it's a Zyger. Yeah. 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 I'm having a lot of fun with this. Well, it's I, wonderful. <laughs> oh, it's great work because it gives me a chance to be creative. And uh, what Tops does is uh, activate my ideas and turn them into very, very proficient books. And so I'm grateful for the kind of opportunity that has cast me, you know, uh, in that respect, as a creative consultant, and uh, in essence, I'm an idea man. They've been very, very as, nice as much as you I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our pleasure.